Hi, Tiki Tiki Tikis. <laughs> All right. So you can see the three golden girls there. Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose, and all the chickens. Nate put this fence up. The chickens can get in and out of the fence just fine. It's actually sheep netting. <laughs> and the reason he put it up is because there's really nice grass in here. And instead of mowing it, I thought that, you know, hey, we might as well put the chickens in there. So geese, obviously, still over here. <laughs> they always follow me thinking I'm going to feed them. We are getting really close to the hatch out dates for the geese eggs. If they are in fact viable, <coughs> I'm not a hundred percent optimistic. Unfortunately, um, the ones in the incubator, they look like they have a little bit of development, but not to what I would expect when I candle them. So I'm going to let them go ahead and go to full term. They are at 27 days today. So we're getting really close. It should be anywhere between 26 and 32 days, probably closer to the 30 day mark. And so we'll just kind of watch them. As you can see by my attire, it has gotten very chilly. Oh my goodness. Uh, we are into the thirties at night. It was snow flurries and rain this morning. <laughs> kind of crazy. It is March, but as you can see, uh, they definitely have plenty of options to get around should they need it. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got my cough. Still got the chest congestion. <laughs> These little ones still have not figured out exactly that they should be going up inside at night but I'm putting them up there at night because it is way too cold. So they have all this nice space up here and they have roosting bars and there's only five of them. Hi ladies <laughs> and sir. We do have a hen, this actually, this Rhode Island right here. She sleeps in here by herself. Not sure why she doesn't roost with the rest. Betty Jane sleeps in here by herself. Not sure why she doesn't roost with the rest. Miss Olivia, the gray olive agar, got in here again and is laying her eggs, which is not good because we have our broody hens. And she just keeps adding more eggs to these girls. So I need to figure out and get those remarked so I know which ones I need to be taking out every day. Our pens, our little areas here. The grass is starting to grow, which is great. I was afraid we wouldn't have grass growing in here this year, but you can see there's quite a bit of grass. This rooster, he's very sweet. He's very sweet to us. He's very sweet to the hens. However, he, somehow this door got left open and he attacked this poor rooster, and I don't know if you can see, if he turns the other way, you'll be able to see, but his poor comb, this poor little guy got beat up, and you can see there's a little bit of blood in his feathers, and all his girls were out, they had run out, and the two boys were in here fighting, thankfully Nate happened to see them out the window, and I was able to run and catch the rooster, and yes, you heard me right, I did say run, Katie actually ran, because he was a poor guy was getting beat up. So hopefully everyone's okay. He seems fine. Obviously the girls aren't picking on him at all. Um, and this rooster, I'm not worried about him getting in there unless for some reason, because he only went in because the actual door was open. He didn't jump up and over. They don't fight through the enclosure. It just happened to be the, somehow the door got open and these these latches are not the highest quality i'm not gonna lie so what we did is we put a little just a little piece of mulch through there there's little holes if you can see here in the side so we just put a little piece there because these you know 
if you don't quite latch them right, then they will pop right back open. So uh, we were, I did walk back there yesterday into the backwoods and got all the trail cams. I'll put that footage in this video so y'all can see that. We got so much footage. I think I got about 200 to 220 usable clips. I'm not sure how much of that I'll put in here. Some of it was hilarious, made me laugh. Uh, some of it was a little shocking, like seeing animals that are not our animals on our property, that are not wild animals. Uh, and then others was just seeing some wildlife. And of course the culprit that is digging under our fields. <laughs> so I'll share that in this video. And then the other thing yesterday was Nate. <laughs> <laughs> she, she normally doesn't join in. I, I really, I really, really, really hope she has babies. Um, I hope she hatches some because I think she's going to be a really good mom. So yesterday, Nate was taking a walk down here like he likes to do with the dogs. Um, I'm still not feeling well enough to do major walks. I get out of breath pretty easily. So he went with the doggies and decided he wanted to go down to the creek. He hadn't been down there for quite some time and just wanted to kind of check things out. And he let me know that there was a coyote he saw pretty close um, over, it was kind of back over, I guess, so this is our temporary paddock that we've had set up and we've had the animals in. And right beyond that, uh, you can see maybe, maybe you can see past this tree, there's a little white post. That's how, that's where the next paddock is and where the pigs were all winter. And we had seen a coyote back there before. It's where I put the trail cams and I'd done some clearing back there and he had seen another one. So um, the dogs took off running and marking and doing what they're supposed to do. But he walked around back there quite a bit looking to see if he could figure out where it was coming from, where it was going and things like that. So we, it's still getting kind of close, but that was like three in the afternoon, which is really un, not a normal time to be seeing a coyote active on your property. Usually they're bed down somewhere or they're hiding. So that was pretty close for the time of day that it was. Um, but yeah, here's where <laughs> Nate dug the other day. We didn't get that whatever it was out. And then, sorry for my heavy breathing. I'm still, <laughs> still got some chest, chest issues happening where I'm trying to catch my breath and it's also cold out. And if y'all remember, I get pretty labored breathing when it's cold, but just checking on everyone. Everyone looks great. Everyone up here has been doing really good. I'll show you all this broody mama. Oh my goodness. I have never seen a chicken get this big when she's broody. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Uh, we've got I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never done the broody. I should take that back. The first time we let Karen go broody, she was with a group like this and she did just fine. Oh, so this one is normal. This is normal broody mama, right? She's big, but not huge. And I need to collect eggs. Excuse you, silly girl. All right. And then over here, excuse me, pardon me. Just watch out, sorry. Oh, these ones, so they're little fluffy butts. The eggs stick to them sometimes. So I find eggs out here, which I know a lot of people are like, don't feed your chickens their own eggs. Well, you can see right here, this egg is just sitting here 
and they're not touching it. But if I was to crack it open, you bet they would. So look how big this girl made herself. <laughs> Can you see how big she is? She's not that big of a bird, but she has poofed up so much. And I don't know if she's gonna like me getting, hopefully she's okay. I'm grabbing these ones. She's got way too many. She can't even pull any more under her. So I need to come and collect eggs, obviously. We've got quite a few, uh, but <laughs> that just made me laugh. There was one sitting on eggs here the other day. That's why they were all kind of together. It was one of these really young brown ones, the partridge cochins, but it doesn't look like, she must not still be broody. Cause no, those eggs are cold. So, all right, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was pretty funny. So I know some of you guessed and what you thought it was digging up our fields. Uh, so let me know what y'all think and if it's what you thought. And I'll put the footage here. Y'all have a fantastic weekend, a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>